IH Axial Flow 250 Series Combine Operation Guide. In this video we shall be looking around the engine platform area, the daily checks, cleaning and maintenance procedures. In order to lower the rear ladder, always ensure that the straw chutes on both the magna cut and hood mounted extra chop are fully lowered. When in the correct position, the ladder can be pulled from its clips, lowered and unfolded to gain full access to the engine platform area. At the top of the ladder on the left you will find an engine bay work light switch and a 12 volt supply plug in case you need to use a lead light or small other 12 volt DC appliance. The hydraulic reservoir is immediately situated at the very top of the ladder on the left hand side of the platform. Ensure that all hydraulic cylinders are retracted before checking the oil level. The oil level should be seen at least in the bottom of the sight glass, but no more than halfway, otherwise during work oil will overflow from the breather cap and create a safety and fire risk. Top up the tank if required via the filler breather cap as shown. Close to the floor of the platform you will find the DEF Add Blue filler neck and the fuel tank filler neck. Always ensure that the necks, caps and surrounds are thoroughly cleaned before filling. Use the correct filler nozzle, especially on the Add Blue tank, and do not get the two confused. This could lead to a very expensive repair. Please note that there are two fuel tanks on the 9250. Fill the right hand tank or main tank first. The engine air comes from behind the main dust screen into the air cleaner located on the platform. There is also a pre-cleaner and exhaust aspiration system which require no maintenance. Unclip the end housing and remove the primary filter, not letting dirt fall on the inner safety filter. Although not always practical, the filter element should only be cleaned when there is an alarm on the operator's display. Common sense or timeliness will no doubt prevail in very dusty conditions. Holding the element, tap it against the palm of the other hand to remove the dirt and dust. If this is not sufficient, then use compressed air blowing from inside outwards. Use high volume, low pressure for best results. If any damage is noted, discard the element and fit a new one. Do not remove the safety element unless it has to be replaced. From the engine platform, Open the right hand rear side guard as shown. Unclip the rotary screen housing to gain access to behind the screen and to the radiator fins. Prop open the panel for safety and to prevent it opening too wide and avoiding damage to the pivot area. Daily check the coolant level in the header tank located at the top of the engine shrouding. Never add a different coolant additive or antifreeze to the cooling system. Only ever replenish with ready mixed OAT based coolant. Case IH recommends Actiful OT extended life coolant. Check the engine oil level daily using the green coloured dipstick found on the rear side of the engine. Top up if required via the yellow cap located on the rocker cover. Daily check the oil levels of the PTO gearbox and the three speed rotor gearbox. Replenishing the gearboxes is achieved by carefully pouring oil into the dipstick channel. For complete access to the engine it will be necessary to raise the engine cover and remove the front guarding. Raise the safety rail and lock it in place. Using a suitable screwdriver, turn the fastener and raise the cover up onto its gas strut. Still using the screwdriver, release the fasteners of the front guard and put the guard to one side. It is important to blow down the radiators and engine bay. 
pay particular attention to the alternator cooling mesh. The exhaust manifold and turbocharger area and the SCR exhaust system and silencer shroud. Full access to the front side of the engine and around the three speed rotor gearbox can be achieved via the hatch at the front of the engine cover. Again, make sure that any straw, dust, and other debris is blown away and clear of any build up. For blowing down effectively, Case IH recommend a high volume of air at relatively low pressure such that you would find from a roadside compressor. A commercial leaf blower can also be used to great effect and of course the inbuilt compressor with connection points located at strategic points around the combine. Never forget to fold down the handrail before leaving the platform. When your checks and cleaning are complete raise the ladder by folding up the bottom section and then with the aid of the gas struts lift the ladder up into its rubberized safety clips. If the ladder does not go up into position, then clean out from behind the left and right support brackets. Always remember that more comprehensive information including oil and coolant specifications can be found in the operator's manual which should be read prior to harvest operations, maintenance and repairs. Thank you for watching and have a great season.